Hey everyone and welcome to day 28 of Lena March. Without further ado, today we're doing the nine card spread. And so I'm just going to give, oh here we go, we've got jumpers already, the book. I'll give the cards a quick shuffle and I was going to pick a significator, but I might just let the cards pick a significator. So I'll ask them to just lead the way whatever needs to be the center of attention at this time so be it okay scythe i just like doing overhand shuffle because when the cards jump out there's the lady for me, they always, especially with this card system, they always seem to make a heck of a lot of sense. Like they're telling me a story as I'm shuffling. Whoa. Okay, that's interesting. Mountain and paths. I'll put them separate and see what happens. Snake. Oh, there's the child. So in other words, there's a lot of energy around which that's very true. I had every intention of getting this all done yesterday and uploading and, well, life just seems to be very, very busy and quite changeable at the moment. But that's okay. So there we have it. Let's go. So the first card goes in the middle. Oh, the scythe. What else am I cutting away? And here we go on a journey. One, two, whoops, here's the man. Ha! Look who's back. Are you surprised? Are you surprised? I'm certainly not. Now I'm just putting them my way first so I can get my bearings if you don't mind. Not very fair on you, but um, well, this is very interesting. Oh boy, if there was a slight jump there, that's because I kicked the camera, so I hope I've lined it up <laughs> as close as possible. Um, okay. I decided to let the significator choose itself. And again, I, I am sorry that it's upside down, but I, I find out it's, it's challenging for me to get a real feel for the cards when they're upside down to me. So we have the stars, the man and the moon, the man and the moon. And then we have the birds, the scythe, the rider, followed by the key. Of course, the key. I think that's every day it's come up in my spreads. Um, the paws and the snake. Now this is quite interesting and I'll share a little bit about it because it is about my personal life without going into too much detail. But I find this quite interesting and I've got a feeling it is about a person that I met recently. Um, I had a man come to me in my um, like local community in this area of tarot, uh, numerology, astrology. And we got to talking, we would write to each other, have long chats and found out that you know we really do see the metaphysical world very very similarly we have a lot of keen um sorry we have a lot of common interests and we're both very keen about this world the world we all live in and it turns out that he's like studying astrology but you know more, more like researching astrology you might say so he asked if i would help him um with some you know astrological um um, traits in his chart and of course it was my pleasure to do so and that's where we kind of got to know each other and I thought this was interesting because he found me on the internet and he was brave enough to call me and tell me what you know what he who he was what he was looking for he's a very very private person and so am I he's not into like a lot of his friends and I know you'll understand this a lot of his friends are not into this kind of thing so it's quite difficult just to sit down and share your world and you know we we all get that and not only that we have a very very strong connection and I couldn't help but feel right from the get-go it's almost like those relationships where the person will write what you're thinking and all I find myself is 
is is saying yes i agree yes that's right that's how i see it yes i agree it's like it's like he's reading my mind of course we had a bit of a chuckle about that but when i see the key i just feel again the key's been coming up in all my reads and for whatever reason i was destined to meet this person and um and he was destined to meet me i think and we actually met last night for the very first time. We met up in person because we've been communicating just over the phone and, and via um, private messages. And we both agree we have a very strong connection and it feels karmic. And when I see this key here, I just feel like this is a karmic journey, the key with the paths and... Um, and, you know, how interesting when, you know, the, it's like you could say that the stars led us, you know, um, or led him to me, but that can also be the internet. And he is Pisces and he's very, very, I think he's quite a natural psychic and he's learning to tap into um, his abilities at this time, but very... Um, Um, connected to the higher realms. I just feel like this, you know, to see a man here surrounded by the stars and the moon depicts him very, very well. He's sensitive, um, you know, naturally, as I say, naturally quite psychic, quite a lot of wisdom um, going on, like authentic wisdom, not just repeating, you know, what, what he reads. Just a very special human being, I think. So I, I just thought when I look across this way, that's very interesting. I think that does describe him well. And, you know, he's very, very um, connected to astrology, more so than anything else. He does have cards, but um, that's his main focus at the moment. And again, very um, connected to his emotions and especially his needs at this time. He's on a learning journey. He's wanting to expand his horizons and, uh, horizons and further his spiritual journey. Um, now, if I look, so that to, to me, this is the immediate past. I just think, yeah, it, you could say, you know, destiny brought this communication um, together. There we are. And we just don't stop talking. You could yak, you could yak, because it's all exciting when you meet someone that loves the sort of thing that you do in this world. And, you know, to me, that's him. Funny, I'm not there. But anyway, <laughs> where am I in this picture? But there he is. Now, that's interesting. Um there's certain things going on in his life at the moment that he's ready to cut and he is definitely preparing for um, quite a shift in his lifestyle. Mm, yeah, in a way. It's almost like his life is the two paths at the moment. You know, there's the normal life and there's your spiritual life. And what he's doing at the moment is he's learning about himself so much so he can be well prepared and um, for this new journey but he knows that there's certain things that will have to go in order for him to um, move forward on this new path which I think is very very brave we've all been there but it's it's not as easy as you think um, yeah parting with uh, material possessions jobs people whatever it happens to be it could be a religion you know what I mean it's just that kind of thing so I think that's what the, I feel like that's about him considering the man is there but on a personal level, I can feel this in myself. So I'm in a year of change and he's in a year of endings. How interesting is that for a start? So we just parallel each other on so many ways. Um, it's a very interesting phenomena. And I feel like I'm here to guide him and he is here to guide me. So when I look, yeah, to me, that's him. That is all about him. Again, heightened emotions, very in touch with them, but wants to explore them, not afraid of them. However, felt that the past has inadvertently blocked his emotions just due to the structure of life. And so that's why, you know, the stars say something's expanding. And so I feel like in his past, something's been expanding. And in my past, absolutely, like the stars are beginning to align but there is that sense of needing to expand out of the world, out of my local village, which is where I've been working in my home. Everything's local. And I just feel like I'm being pushed to go out into the world more. 
And so this man came over to visit me yesterday and said, well, I really feel like I need to get out into the world more. And I'm like, hello, here we go again. So I just find that's really extraordinary. And that's the second card, but it's the top card here in the nine card spread. So I don't know, my eyes keep going up to the stars, but I'm an astrologer and I just love stars, planets, universe, space. So I'm very attracted to that arena in life anyway. So that's that. And if you go future, I just feel again, this is like pleasant news or... I don't know, you get that sense of like karmic relationship on a good, um, on a, you know, um, it could be a romantic relationship. It's possible with those two, I think. But whatever it is, it's not here yet. But I just feel like this good news to come or, you know, good vibes to coming. It's coming out of the emotions into the, into the mindset. Um, that's the sense I get, you know, moon is reputation and recognition you know there's some recognition here maybe coming through um, even coming through dialogue and I know he really appreciates what I have to share he's always made that very clear but I think look this mightn't be me this might be something I read that I thought moon plus rider can be some kind of romance or a, you know like a romantic tie or something like that but anyway don't quote me on that I'm just trying to go freehand here. And uh, so I just feel like there's some really beautiful energy and lovely possibilities. I mean, a soulmate relationship can be all shapes and sizes. It doesn't have to be a physical relationship. Um, but whatever this is, this is a very pleasant aspect of the relationship and the connection that we have, which I already feel. However, you come down here and I think, oh, but then we might, from this perspective as well as this, in the future we could run into some difficulties or complications oh now hang on if i think about my read yesterday decisions bad decisions were made <gasps> this could be a decision that has to be made that's not going to be easy ah so whether that's him me or us i don't know but you know maybe we'll just really really connect and then life moves i mean i'm in a year of change god knows where i'll end up um so maybe we might have to part the ways because, you know, someone's moving or there's there's just difficult circumstances and it's just not meant to continue because I really love having this person in my life because we're just so... It's like, it's definitely a soul karmic connection. It's just so far beyond, you know, the practical elements of even talking tarot and astrology. You've all met people like that. We've all had people like that in our lives. So when, when they come in, I, I know they're meant to be, but it's just, it's a bit of a, yeah, bit of a shocker having this here at the, at the end of the day. So it starts off really, really beautiful, but you get the, you get, you get the feeling that it's just kind of going to crash and burn. But, um, ah, wow, that's just really fascinating. Look, I know it can pertain to many things, but that's, I really feel that's it. And I wasn't thinking, I just asked the cards, you just tell me what needs to come through, what's kind of surrounding me at the moment or what's the most powerful energy. Um, and this is about hidden aspects. Well, this is interesting. So meetings with the man, communications with the man could be cut or something's got, like, so we harvest the communications. They're really, really good, but something comes along. See, that it's almost like there's new information or new possibilities so maybe the old way of communicating, we do, we do what we do discussing astrology and delving into soul paths for a while, but then something else new comes along and, and um, out of that decisions have to be made. Perhaps it's going to be a new path forward for both of us or either of us. So maybe that's the thing. This is supposed to be a karmic connection. Well, it is a karmic connection. But sometimes, and I've had this come into my life before, where it's been a very, very close connection, but we come together only for a short period of time. And when I used to read up on past lives a lot, it would often say, look, sometimes you just need to reconnect with someone, or there's just a little bit of unfinished business from a past life. It can be beautiful. It doesn't have to be, you know, karma isn't always a difficult thing. If you were taken away from each other by war or whatever circumstances, you know, illness, that you get the opportunity to come back together um, 
in, in another life. And that's why you f it feels like you're just taking up from where you left off. So that's really interesting. And that's why, again, no wonder. Maybe it's whether it's him or me that decides to go, you know, or I, I feel like I've done everything I can do for him. It's time for him to move on to, you know, another mentor. Um, it, it could be quite challenging. It's almost like you get that sense that maybe one person wants to be there and one doesn't. Or, or I mean, I know I'm an honest person. Do I find out that he's not honest and and um, do I decide to, to walk away finding out that, you know, there's something that was hidden that I didn't um, know? It certainly doesn't appear that way, but just throwing it in the mix. But that's got nothing to do with this, okay? So that seems, yeah. Conversations, meetings, gatherings, getting together. Um, the dialogue is really, really interesting at the moment, but then something is cut or it needs to be cut to make way for, for new information. Or we might just get go from one level of, of discussion to even a, a more deeper meaning, but it causes this fork in the road where someone or both of us have to make a decision. Maybe it's just, I mean, these two, you think you're moving on to bigger and better things, I would think. So there's a hidden aspect. I'm actually going to um, take a photo of this read and obviously I've got it on vid and just see see what happens out of this. Basic issues, see again, this being in the middle says to me from so many different perspectives, like there's such beauty, but there's decisions to be made. Some are going to bring things to a better place, but others... That to be from the moon down to the side, down to the key. It's a very important decision that needs to be made. It's like it's it's a karmic decision or a spiritual decision. It's big, I think. I mean, the key is what's opening up and, and that's been cut off. And the key is a groovy thing. So why is that happening? You know, it could be emotions are running high. You know, the moon is all things artistic and, and beautiful and emotional and who you are out there, like how people see you in the world and all of a sudden it stops. It just seems to be cut away. Or is, is it, it, uh, uh, are we going to be changed emotionally or emotions are cut off anyway? something Something's going to happen out of that. I'm not sure exactly how to articulate that, but... Moon is like connection generally, isn't it? And that's disconnection. So there might be a, a, a spiritual connection, but not an emotional connection. Doesn't feel like that at the moment. It feels more than that. Anyhow, um, the diamond with the blue. I did the blue arrows. You can read horizontally. Yes, we sort of did that. But then there's one arrow that goes from here up. If we look at the snake plus rider, you feel like you're going from a tricky situation to, well, hang on, there's there's the rescue team, something better is going to come out of it, or maybe something was in, uh, information was hidden, but it comes to light. And then we have this kind of beautiful um, energy to, to end with. And I always think, you know, the moon, it's it's waxing and waning, so it waxes, comes up to a full moon when things are visible, we can see what it is. So it's like it's hidden, but then the information comes out. My gosh, I love this spread, Kelly, because all the, the different ways that you look at it, um, this is a better one than nine card spreads I've read about before. I just feel at the end of the day, this is a karmic relationship. There's a lot of beauty in here, but there certainly is um, layers of complexities. And it's like things are wonderful and then they get really tricky and decisions have to be made. But if this is where we come to the end, you know, if, if that's the last stroke, that, that things might go through a very, very dicey period and then we could perhaps reconnect again if that's where it works. See, if you, if you read it down, that's the future, so it's not looking great. But this, or, this um, other orange arrow up, which is part of the hidden aspects, who knows? I just think that's the thing. That the key is what decisions will be made between the two of us. But if we're destined to spend a certain amount of time together and then part the ways, I guess that's what has to happen. Um, and that may be very painful for someone or someone suddenly decides this is, you know, not 
feasible anymore to continue this connection and the other person is left feeling a little bit out of sorts is it because someone isn't being totally honest about you know their feelings or the situation or what's going on in other areas of life it all remains to be seen but i'll keep you posted <laughs> I don't even know if I've done this right, but that's what I'm getting. So I, I might leave it at that considering I have to squeeze in another couple yet. So thank you so much for watching and talk to you again real soon. Bye for now.